Welcome back to another CATIA video. We're going to take a look at how we can measure volumes within CATIA. So the case study part will be a mechanism that we have over here. I will put a video uh, link in the description where you can also download the files if you want to follow along with the mechanism as well. Now, to measure volumes in CATIA, we have the measure inertia to toolbar. As we can see within a assembly design or within digital mockup, that will not be available. But for example, if I will um, extend the bottle over here, double click the bottle, this will take me in this case to generative sheet metal design. But we're going to see that we have the measure, um, measure inertia over here. I can also swap to part design. Keep in mind that part design, generative sheet design, sheet metal design, imagine and shape, they are all at the same level. So depending on the last four bench where you want, that will be the active one. So with the measure inertia, we can afterwards select a specific part body. In this case, we see that over here we have a, a shaft. So that means we have the profile of the bottle. Afterwards, we have it shelled in order to give it a specific thickness. And I can just click on the on the part body over here and we're going to receive the volume. And um, as we can see in this case, this will be the equivalent to 0 0.0000 and uh, 3 uh, cubic meters for this, uh, this bottle. Now to better highlight that, I will create a new part. So I'll go over here, insert new part. I don't want to define a new origin. And within the new part, I will just do a simple extrude, which will be one meter long for the width and the length. So over here, I'm going to type in 1000 by 1000. By and if I will have this extruded, so with the volume tool on this part, we're going to have exactly one um, metric cube over here, as we can see, since we have all those uh, segments set to one meter. So keep that in mind that um, if you are using um, maybe some freeform profiles, for example, within the same part, I will just jump to imagine a shape because I can rapidly draw some, uh, some profiles over here. If, for example, I will come over here to the revolve, we're going to receive an axis and I can start positioning those um, elements. At the end, I can uh, have this closed. Then we're going to see that we're going to have the shape. So the bottom in this case is currently not filled. So we can either fill that directly when we create it. But um, now, since uh, I cancel that, um, I will need to go within um, shape, generative shape design, and have it filled over here. So let's just rapidly fill this. We can also do that directly within the revolve from imagining shape. But I will just close it like this. Afterwards, I will join that profile with that one. And we're going to have the profile of that. If you want, I, if we want to measure the volume of this, again we can go with measure inertia, and in this case I will click the fill, the the join over here. And as you can see, we only receive the area and the mass. This is because we currently have a surface that doesn't have any any thickness, so we either have the possibility to do a thick surface for this one, for example one millimeter on the exterior. And afterwards, if I will go with measure inertia for the thick surface, we're going to see that now we are going to receive that volume over here. Or we can also do a different approach where we just going to fill the top section of this. So using the same workflow like uh, we fill the bottom. Over here, it's important to click um, all those gaps. So I still have a gap over here, one over here, <clears throat> and one over here. Okay, 
this is something that um let me just recreate that and i will go along and click on each usually in other um, cut solutions this uh, will allow us to take some um, propagation but for katia we need to manually click those but we see that it worked and now i can uh, go with join join that to the base and if i will go with measure inertia for the second join we are now going to receive um, as you can see we still don't have the volume uh, over here since uh, this is not um, a solid body but i have the possibility now to go with closed surface select the element and now on that closed surface if i will go with measure inertia we're going to obtain that uh, that volume so as you can see in this case 0 0.042 um, cubic meters so that is how you can uh, can measure volume in katia keep in mind that you need to have a solid body in order to to do that so i hope that you find this video useful i will position a similar video over here on the bottom i will add the katia v5 tips and tricks playlist to the top and i will also add a subscribe button so please consider to to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content so that's it thanks for watching